Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today we're going to be making Uhura from Star Trek. This was played by Nichelle Nichols in the original series and uh, she's definitely one of my favourite heroines. Uh, she's very instrumental in uh, shaping how I thought of women especially boldly going where no man could go. <laughs> um, we're going to start with a single loom in the offset configuration which means columns one and three are slightly lower than column two the arrow is facing towards you or the open part of the peg facing towards you we're going to be double banding which means you take two bands and you place them across the pegs as if they were one the colors you're going to need are black for her hair I'm using rainbow loom the darker brown for uh, from the skin tone kit for her flesh and I'm using red for her outfit. I have a couple of gold bands for her earrings and also a couple of gold bands for her emblem on her shirt. You're probably also going to need an S clip or A clip of some sort and a couple of pony beads for eyes. Um, I'm using the black mini pony beads. I find those are quite good uh, at the moment for doing eyes. So we'll get started here. Make sure you push everything down on your pegs. Take a single band and stretch it over these three pegs as a crossover band and then for her eyes we're going to take a single band and twist it once, twice and three times and this will stop the eyes from falling to the back of her head. I'm looping or threading my beads onto my rainbow loom two rainbow loom my crochet dude 2.75 hook they fit quite nicely but you can use whatever you like a, a metal threader I have a tutorial on how to make one from a tristy tie a uh, floss you can just thread them through yourself whichever you can use bands you don't have to actually use um, beads take a single black band and wrap it around your hook four times and then do the same with another one and slide those onto a single band and it'll do the same job when you've placed your band take your hook and grab the top part of that band and place it over this peg here and then it acts like a, uh, a crossover band which is quite helpful take a single band wrap it once and twice slide onto a pair of black bands and another pair of black bands and one more pair of black bands and we're going to put one side here, press your hook through the end cap which are the three loops at the bottom and attach here at her jawline. Do the same for the other side. Single, wrap it once and twice. Slide onto a double, another double and one more double. One side will go here and the other when you push your hook through the end cap will pop here at her jaw. Okay we're going to use three skin tone bands for her throat and another two for a chest area and we're double banding again we only use three for the neck, that's all. Push these down. Get some red bands for her little dress.
see I just dropped a red band in my loom come out there we go now from the center to the right from the center to the left we're going to put some uh, arms on her single band wrap it once and twice slide on to pair of skin tone and then four red four pair of red so there's one pair two pair three pair and four pair And do the same again on the other side, single band, wrap it once and twice. Slide on to a pair of skin tone and then four pair of red. goes on the other shoulder like that now let's finish her little dress off normally for the chaps their shirts are just three but Uhura is not a chap So the skin tone for her legs and now we're going to do some black boots on her. Take two bands, slide your hook through and wrap once and twice, slide onto two bands. Do that again, two bands, wrap once and twice slide onto two bands move these ones up and over and then swap sides for your hook and up and over and reclaim your band angle the foot so it goes the other way and pop that on there let's do the other side two bands wrap once and twice slide onto two bands and reclaim your hook uh, your bands. Wrap once and twice, slide onto two bands. With the set that we made first, take the pair, the side that's closest to the end of your hook up and over and swap sides and then up and over and reclaim the end of your bands. And that little shoe gets put on the end of this leg like so we're going to put two red bands here and two red bands here and we're going to do our crossovers before we do anything else so we have a single band that we stretch across here then we're going to take a single band and stretch it figure eight loop it on itself and this is to bring her waist in so that she looks like she has a slimmer waist because isn't, isn't that the uh, aim of the game there we go and this one is sorry this one is just a single band not looped on itself to give her some bust room now let's do a tiny little extension we don't want much because she does wear quite a form-fitting skirt single band wrap it once and twice slide onto a pair slide onto 
Hmm, now I'm thinking, we're just going to slide it onto one pair. I'm going to put one side here, and with the other, my hook through the uh, end cap, I'm going to put that there. Okay, wrap it once and twice, slide on, and it's only going to give it the tiniest bit of um, a flare, but that's all we really need. So, put the ends here, push your hook through the end cap, that's three loops, and we'll put that here. So it goes just above where it finishes. Alright, we're ready to start looping up. Push your hook down, grab the two bottom bands and loop up. Do it on both sides because the feet can be a bit fiddly. I'm going to loop the sides, grab the two top red bands, and then the bottom two, like that. Now, where we have our extension. We're going to take these extension bands off and hold them out to the side. Dig down, push the crossover bands back with the back of your hook, find the two bottom red bands and loop up. And then reclaim your extension bands and put them back. Okay, we're going to do the same the other side, but let's loop this middle one up first. Then take these off, hold them out to the side dig down, find the two red bands at the bottom and loop them up. Put your extension bands back onto your hook and back onto the peg. Then we can dig down and find the two bottom red bands and loop up. Now when we get to the arms we're going to loop up to the shoulders like this and there's an order that we want this to be in we want the black to be on the top here but then we want the brown to be on the top here so loop this one up then find the top two black bands and loop across the next two black bands and loop across we're not going to loop these brown ones just yet, we want to loop these black ones in first. So loop one side and the other side and now these skin tone get looped up and they are the predominant ones on the top which is what we want for her throat. Dig down you're finding three black bands, I'm sorry three skin tone bands and loop them up. Dig down skin tone to the side, the top two skin tone to the other side. Now we're going to dig down and find the bottom two brown bands and loop them up on both sides. Then what we're going to do is take the extension off. Careful not to undo the other bands. So take the extension off I did catch one, that needs to stay there, so make sure you only have your extension ones. I see one's trying to run, one's trying to run away from me. Get back there. <laughs> you should have four loops. Dig down, you're finding the two bottom black bands and you're looping up. Replace your extension and we're going to lock that into place so we don't have to worry about it by digging down here and finding the bottom two black bands and looping up. We'll do the same this side. Take the extension off, hold it out to the side, dig down past the black bands to find the brown bands, dig down past the brown bands to find the black bands. I'm getting my merds waddled. <laughs> Loop these in up here and then replace the extension onto the peg dig down, find the bottom two black bands and loop them across. 
grab your two bands, loop up, loop up, and your last two black bands, loop up. Grab two black bands, we're digging down, out the side, getting those two bands and pulling them through the peg and reclaiming on the end here. Take the two closest to you up, over and off and pull tight. Let's take her off the loom. move my loom out of the way as you can see it's not a huge extension we didn't want a huge extension it's just a little puff just a little tiny puff so that it looks like she's wearing a skirt rather than pants pull her arms out stretch her into shape Now I'm going to hide her hair, these loops that we tied off in the back here where all her hair is. Let's discreetly shove that behind some of these bands. There we go. So here is our little Uhura. Now we need to use two bands to make her um, emblem on her shirt. I'm going to push my hook through and grab one of the gold bands and pull it back and do the same in another spot and pull it back. If I can see where I did that, that would be helpful. <laughs> There we go. All right, so I'm going to find my S clip. I'm going to pull the one closest to me over the top of the other. So I just have one little loop there to deal with and pop that on the clip. Pull it forward a bit. Get the other one. Grab that and again go through in a spot that it did not just come through and pull that to the back as well. I'm going to pull one over the other. I'm going to do a vague attempt at a try <laughs> and clip that off there. I'm going to push my hook through and try and straighten these up like that. Okay, so there's her emblem. Now, her earrings. I always used to love her earrings. They were big gold hoops. So I'm taking a gold band and I'm doing a figure eight on itself like so. I have a clear band. I guess you could use clear or you could use um, skin tone if you're going to attach it via the skin or black if you're attaching it to her hair. I'll use skin tone. I'm going to thread one band through like this and tie it like that. Okay. And then what I want to do is have it so it fits against her face. 
So I'm going to push my hook between where the hair and her skin is and pull back. And I think I want it to be quite tight so that this doesn't flip all over the place like so. Let's do the same for the other one. And these are particularly slippery little little bands. One over the other, pull it tight. Again, find a spot between her hair and her skin that you can pull it through. And turn it whichever way makes sense. For me, they're both flipping up. <laughs> I think that one's too high. My problem is these are silicon bands and they're a bit, they have a, a mind of their own. <laughs> they will relax. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie these two loops in a knot at the back of her head here. One. I know, I know, me and knots, it's amusing, isn't it? Very amusing, apparently. There we go. So just tie that in a little knot at the back here. Pull her into shape. And these will settle down and um, once you once they relax. See how one has? You can fiddle around with them. Put one over the other side instead. There we go. So, there we have Uhura. I hope you enjoy making her. Take care.